Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model 3 scores 5-star green end cap rating. Tesla FSD beta takes on GM's driverless cruise in San Francisco battle. Tesla's affordable EV gets shout-out during Musk's G20 interview. And, Tesla mobile app SARS code hints at non-Tesla supercharger pilot program, expanding soon to the US. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The Tesla Model 3 scored a 5-star green end cap rating, Tesla announced on Monday. The top-selling electric vehicle was awarded 5 stars, with a weighted overall index of 9.8 out of 10, by Green End Cap, which promotes the development of clean vehicles that are energy efficient and cause as little harm to the environment as possible. Tesla noted that its vehicles are designed to be more than just a great electric vehicle, but the best vehicles, period. Their efficiency are simply a positive byproduct of making the absolute best and most fun products possible. Tesla scored 10 out of 10 for the Clean Air Index laboratory tests, which are a set of laboratory tests and road tests. Tesla scored 9.6 for energy efficiency and 9.8 for greenhouse gases. The Model 3 aced the warm and cold laboratory tests and the highway tests, in which it received the highest score of all vehicles tested to date. By comparison, the average ICE vehicle tested in 2022 received 4.2 out of 10, and the average hybrid vehicle scored 5.1 out of 10, Tesla said. The company added that its process of continuous iteration introduced running changes to its vehicles to improve thermal comfort, efficiency, range, and more. Although Tesla scored 9.8 out of 10 on the greenhouse gas emissions tests, Tesla noted that its 2021 impact report analyzed the life cycle emissions of its vehicles and compared them with equivalent internal combustion engine vehicles in the US, Europe, and China, and the Model 3 produced fewer greenhouse gases. Green End Cap shared details of its greenhouse gas index, which is based on a well-to-wheel plus approach. The greenhouse gas emissions related to the supply of energy are added to those of the tailpipe. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD beta takes on GM's driverless cruise in San Francisco battle. During the third quarter earnings call, Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla's full self-driving beta should see a wide release in North America this quarter. This meant that every Tesla customer with a compatible vehicle and who purchased FSD would be able to gain access to the advanced driver assist system upon request. It was then no surprise that Musk's prediction was met with skepticism, even among some Tesla supporters. Musk has predicted Tesla's full self-driving revolution several times in the past, and all of them have proven to be inaccurate so far. But if a recent demonstration of FSD beta's capabilities side by side with one of the market's leaders in driverless technologies is any indication, one cannot help but think that Musk may have a point. Perhaps the wide rollout of FSD beta this Q4 may be a realistic target. Longtime FSD beta user Holmar's catalog recently posted a side-by-side -side comparison of Tesla's advanced driver assist system and General Motors' cruise driverless car navigating through San Francisco's streets at night. The two vehicles started at the same location and both were tasked to head to the same destination. Both vehicles were able to complete the trip without any issues, but while FSD Beta and Cruise's driverless car started at a similar pace, GM's self-driving robotaxi was eventually overtaken by Tesla's advanced driver assist suite. Ultimately, Tesla's FSD Beta was able to complete the trip in 14 minutes and 6 seconds, while GM's driverless Cruise robotaxi was able to complete the route in 22 minutes and 24 seconds. A look at the video suggests that Tesla's FSD beta behaves in a bolder manner, while Cruise seems to prioritize the smoothness of its ride. Overall, the side-by-side -side video shows a compelling comparison between Tesla's controversial self-driving concept and Cruise's traditional autonomous vehicle system. Needless to say, the results of the test hint that a future that includes self-driving vehicles is indeed nearly here. Tesla seems to be moving quickly towards its goal of FSD beta's wide release this Q4.
Just a few days ago, the company started rolling out FSD Beta version 11, which is the first iteration of the Advanced Driver Assist system that adopts a single software stack. With FSD Beta on the cusp of being expanded to the Tesla fleet, the company's driverless program would likely be able to develop at a far quicker pace. Moving to the next update, Tesla's affordable EV gets shout-out during Musk's G20 interview. There was a time when Elon Musk seemed to be pretty dismissive of the idea of an affordable Tesla. This was a sentiment he mentioned in his master plan, part 2, where he mused that there would probably be no need for a cheaper car after the Model 3, since the robotaxi network should provide affordable transportation for everyone. Such a statement can easily be true for countries like the United States or Canada, but for countries like India, Musk's statement is not exactly on target. There is a reason, after all, why affordable cars and motorbikes reign supreme in the auto segments of places like the Philippines. Even China, the world's largest auto market and one of the strongest territories for the Tesla Model Y, has a large segment of car buyers that prefer affordable cars. Musk, however, has not really provided many thoughts about an affordable EV from Tesla. In the Q4 and full-year 2021 earnings call, Musk flat-out stated that we are not currently working on a $25,000 car, to the disappointment of some analysts on Wall Street. He has also mused about creating a dedicated robotaxi with a futuristic design instead. These sentiments seemed to change during the third quarter earnings call, however, when Musk noted that a third-generation vehicle, believed to be an affordable EV, would exceed the output of all the company's EVs today combined. It was then no surprise that during his appearance at the 2022 Indonesia B20 Summit, Musk was asked about his thoughts on a more affordable Tesla. The interviewer joked that the car could be named Model I for Indonesia or India, both countries where such a vehicle would likely be very competitive. In his response, Musk noted that he could not really speak much about Tesla's future products, but he highlighted that the company is fully aware that an affordable EV is definitely the way to go. Musk did not mention the vehicle's price or specs, though speculations in EV communities have long suggested that the company's affordable car would likely be in the $25,000 range. As for specs, it would not be surprising if it gets sold as a single motor vehicle that's built with megacasts and a structural battery pack to save on production costs. The affordable EV, however, would most definitely still be equipped with the company's robust suite of safety features, from airbags to active and passive safety systems. Moving to the last update, Tesla mobile app source code hints at non-Tesla supercharger pilot program expanding soon to the US. Tesla launched their non-Tesla supercharger pilot program in Europe late last year, allowing owners of other electric vehicles to use the supercharger network in the Netherlands. Based on some recent changes to the mobile app, it looks like Tesla could be preparing to expand the program to the United States soon. When Tesla launched the program in Norway, information on individual stall availability was added to the mobile app as non-Tesla EV owners had to select an open stall in the app in order to activate and be billed for their charging session. According to Tesla hacker Green the Only, this information is now also available on the mobile app in North America, although it is not currently being displayed. Green shared a screenshot of the new code. Until now, the only information about stall availability was aggregated to show the total number of stalls and how many were free and how many were occupied. Green says this information used to be gathered by way of the app, requesting it from the car, but now the app has been changed to directly query the server for it. One user on Twitter confirmed this is the same query used to display information in the mobile app for the non-Tesla supercharger pilot program in Europe. This could mean that Tesla is close to expanding the program to the United States. According to documentation from the White House, Tesla was supposed to begin production of new equipment that allowed non-Tesla EVs to plug into superchargers in the US before the end of this year. On the positive side, if Tesla is not preparing to open the supercharger network to other EVs in the US, this new code means we will at least be getting more detailed supercharger stall availability in the mobile app soon. 
that's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.